Summer haul, my edit of the best pieces right now at Cezanne Arquette Warehouse. Rosé Paris, Free People, New Look, and a little splurge in the sale at net -a, a A lookbook of outfit ideas, perfect for your summer holidays or vacation this 2022. Warehouse has very kindly sponsored a portion of this lookbook. I had the opportunity to pick some of my favorite pieces from their new collection. So I'm very excited to show you those two a little bit later in this video. So many outfit ideas and so little time. So let's dive straight in. So let's start this summer haul with my little splurge in sale at Netta Porter. Well, I say splurge, but in reality, including shipping, I spent 80 pounds. So we're not talking silly money either. But I've been lusting over quite a few Norma Kamali pieces this season. So one, I was eager to try out the brand and two, I kind of fell in love with this dress. So I really wanted to try it out. The problem is I don't really need this dress. I've been sorting out my wardrobe recently and filming a summer capsule edit actually, which will be out next week, I think. But I realized I am very lucky to have a little collection of beautiful summer dresses already. So if I had been listening to my own advice, I wouldn't have bought it because it's definitely not on my need list. But I'm thinking maybe I can get away with it as a unique piece for my wardrobe, an original, just my cup of tea kind of dress. So should I keep or should I send back? Do let me know what you think. So it's been made from the designer's signature jersey fabric, which I love. Though I will say it isn't the most forgiving dress I've ever worn. There's no hiding my shape behind this one, that's for sure. But I thought for evenings on holiday, it has that relaxed dressed up vibe, which I really love. And the blue is so very pretty. I'm not sure if I'm convincing myself here or you lovely lot, but do let me know what you think in the comments section below. Next in this lookbook to a brand that's actually new for my wardrobe and one that I am very excited to share with you all. Stocked in the likes of Selfridges, Neiman Marcus and Anthropology, Varley creates timeless lifestyle and active collections that look like modern classics. Here you can see I'm wearing a beautiful take on the traditional polo, but it's created using 100% cotton with this really interesting open work detail to it. It's also available in black if you prefer, but personally I couldn't resist this gorgeous soft blue gray tone for summer. Now the joy of items like this is that it could literally be styled with virtually every bottoms that I have in my wardrobe. From jeans and chinos to tailored shorts and floaty skirts, a beautifully made cotton knit is always going to work. Today I've styled it with Varley's classic straight leg trousers. They're relaxed in style but really polished in composition. Essentially they've managed to take the humble everyday pant and elevate it up a notch or five. I think it looks just very elevated everyday wear. Really like those pieces. As always I shall link everything I've featured in the description box below for you to take a look at at the end of this video. But I would say Varley should definitely be a new brand to keep an eye on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Warehouse very kindly offered if I would like to choose some pieces from their new collection. And as I have summer holidays on my mind, I zone straight in on that range. Firstly, opting for this beach ready linen khaki dress. Now, I think what caught my eye originally was the simplicity of this dress. I really see the beauty in pieces like that. I love the square neckline. The shape kind of reminds me of dungarees, but in a more flattering dress version. I also find drop waist hugely flattering too and really comfortable in the heat. So straight out of the box, one great option for summer that retails under 50 pounds. Is it even summer if you don't have a shirt dress on your rail? I think not. So it was an easy add to basket moment when I spotted this linen blend version in white. While I would obviously wear this one as a dress, either loose or adding a belt, I actually thought because of those buttons all the way down, it would double up really nicely as a cover up on holiday too. And actually now I'm thinking about it, you could change it up a bit for the evening as well. I then went for a pair of trousers in my favored dark tan shade. A tone I know would easily mix and match with the majority of items I already have on my rail. I've gone for these in a UK 10, and while I like that slightly loose fit, if you prefer them more straight, you might want to think about sizing down. For this summer haul, I also ironed in a press crease at the front, but obviously that's down to personal preference. Styling wise, I would opt for fairly simple tops to go with this paper bag waistband. There's a lot going on visually already, so 
I like the attention to be drawn to that area. Don't try and compete against it with a really complicated top. I'm also wearing a super affordable pair of real leather sandals in that last look. These are currently on sale for £23 and are available in either tan or the lime that I chose. As you've probably seen on my channel, I already have quite a few pairs of tan sandals. So I thought this tone would look really pretty against lots of those white dresses and skirts that I have. A little pop of colour for long summer days at the beach, hopefully. And finally, from Warehouse, I couldn't help but add one more lovely beach dress. But I knew this one would end up being one of those workhorse dresses on my holidays. And I just love this shade of tan. Now, although I struggle to resist that tone, it is also available in a lovely blue. If you, unlike me, like to swerve from tan occasionally. Made from seersucker cotton with this gathered detailing on the chest portion. It has lazy beach days written all over it. Love it. I've added a link to the new warehouse collection in the description box below. So please do take a look at that at the end of this video for lots more lovely pieces like these. A summer haul lookbook would never be right without at least a couple of pieces from Cezanne. As many of you know, one of my favourite fashion brands available right now. There's honestly not very much I wouldn't buy, it's really my style. Actually, maybe that's an idea for a new video, what I wouldn't buy from Cezanne anti-haul. <laughs> It'd be a short video. Anyhow, I digress. On to what I actually chose. You might have seen recently that I've been wearing my Accru tailored shorts quite a lot. Now, I wouldn't say I am generally a huge fan of shorts in the slightest. So when I find a pair that I do like on me, I wanted to snap them up in another shade. And of course, I chose the caramel. How gorgeous is that colour though? And it would appear I'm not the only one who's a fan of their shorts either. They're actually now available in no less than nine different tones and prints. So there's definitely a lot to choose from. Again, like the tan trousers I showed you before from Warehouse, with the waistband being quite detailed, I like to keep the rest of my styling fairly simple and quite understated. It helps to make the focus be all about the shorts, which are definitely the star of the show. Suzanne actually have quite a lot of lovely skirts in at the moment, both long and mini options if you prefer. But I've had my eye on this embroidered tulle version for about six months now, I think. So I thought it was about time I gave it a try out. And I love it. I am so happy with this skirt. The detailing in the embroidery is so very stunning, really beautifully made. It actually looks like a vintage piece that's been lovingly looked after for years. Now, while I think it would look very elegant and really timeless, maybe styled with a shirt tied at the waist. I've actually styled it very similar to the model on the website and just added a silk cami on my top. If you wanted a little extra definition at your waistband, you could very easily add a contrasting belt. Maybe something to tie in with your sandals. I think that would look nice. A forever piece for sure that I am very excited to now have in my wardrobe. Now, some of you might remember my procrastination when swimsuit shopping from a recent summer haul on my channel. I did finally opt for the majority voted emerald green one piece, as it happens. Very happy with that one. But while my green swimsuit is absolutely stunning and I love it, I am a little bit conscious it's quite low cut for the practicality of three lively boys on holiday. So I'm going to use my glamorous one for when I'm sunbathing and it's nice and calm. And I wanted another option that would save my dignity for those jumping in the pool water slide moments. Because try as I might, I am forced to do the whole water slide thing. So I spotted this one and I thought it would be perfect. Surprisingly for me, I actually really love that print. I thought it was something a little bit different. And the fact that it's a bit more secure with that halter neck seems like a nice and quite safe option. I did size up to a UK 12 as the description sounded like it was coming up a little bit small and I would say that was definitely a good decision. And again, like I've shared before, shape-wise I actually really like this worn as a body too. It's such an interesting shape and print that I think that works really nicely. And lastly, from Suzanne, I went for a new leather belt in black. 
and I've been looking for a belt with some sort of gold hardware for quite a while. So when I spotted this one new on their website, it was an easy add to basket. If you've never bought their belts before, I can highly recommend them. They're always really, really high quality. And I think just that extra bit of special ingredient to really finish off your outfit ideas. Actually, in terms of how they last, I bought this one about a year and a half ago now, and I wear it a lot. And hopefully you can see it's worn really well. It almost looks as good as new. So value for money considering cost per wear. Heading to Arquette now, and I went with a classic oversized shirt. Something coincidentally that I think Arquette have perfected to a T. I really rate the quality of their linen shirts along with their poplin ones. But when I spotted this new in stripe version, I couldn't resist. A timeless classic, of course, but one I know I could style not just for summer, but for autumn winter too. Today I've styled it with my denim midi skirt. I know, shock horror, I'm wearing a skirt for once. This is one I bought a couple of years ago actually, but I really like that more fitted shape contrasting against that quite billowing shirt. And styling wise, even with this outfit idea, you have a couple of different ways you could wear it. You could tuck it all in and add a belt for something a little bit smarter. Do a half tuck like me for a more relaxed look. Tie in a knot for something a little bit preppy and layer it over a t-shirt for a more of a shacket look. I really hate that word, but it does explain what I mean. Lots of styling options with this one. On my feet is another purchase, this time from super affordable New Look. Now I actually spent quite a silly amount of time searching for a new pair of black strappy heels. And in the end, I decided on these. I wanted a mule shape, but I wanted quite a low heel. And I found far too many with ankle straps, which I'm just not keen on. They really cut off your legs and I don't find them flattering in the slightest. And there's no denying that that $23.99 price tag is quite appealing. What I do find slightly annoying however is some brands current push to use the word vegan on items like this as if it's some sort of marketing ploy basically they are plastic shoes and not even recycled plastic I might add so not exactly worth shouting about but hey I did buy them anyway and I do actually like the shape so I'm gonna have to forgive myself this time Sale-wise, in this mini Arquette haul, I like this simple t-shirt dress. I don't think you could ever go wrong with their linen shirts, and I love the shape of most of their pairs of trousers. But I mentioned recently that I have a bit of a strange soft spot for their toweling fabric. So when I spotted this shorts and top set, I knew I needed them in my wardrobe. Now, a bit like the other toweling dress that I bought from them recently, we're not talking gold stars for glamour with these pieces, but they certainly get 10 out of 10 for comfort. And an extra point for practical summer holiday outfits that you know you will reach for again and again. And then I bought what I think is one really gorgeous summer jumper. I love this interesting open work knit, which will not only be hugely breathable in the heat, but it also adds another interesting element to the piece. Now this is the sort of item I would reach for on cloudy days when it's not quite warm enough for only a camisole or a vest top, but it would be too warm to wear a coat. You can see and feel that it's beautifully made and it just adds a lovely texture into my outfit ideas. Plus, I I think this will also be a great transitional piece once we get into autumn. Size wise, I've gone for it in the extra small small, but for something more oversized, you could opt for the medium large. The other day I was invited to a pop-up in Selfridges featuring the new Rails collection. So I thought I'd just quickly show you the new range and the item I decided to choose. If you're not familiar with the brand, Rails is an LA based collection with that unmistakable California essence mixed with a bit of a European cool vibe. I remember first spotting this brand quite a few years ago, I think now, on holiday when we were in America. And I've been a fan of their laid back chic style ever since. First up at Rails, I headed straight away for this blue gingham midi dress. Made from lightweight seersucker cotton, I thought it would be perfect for our summer holes, and I particularly love the shape across the chest. That cutout detail makes it look like a bow almost, which I thought was really pretty. It's a running theme with the toweling at the minute, so you can imagine I fell straight for this jumpsuit. It's not a colour I would normally choose, but actually I really love it. And last, but by no means least, I tried on one of their signature shirts. This one is a blend of linen with these lovely pastel stripes running through it. Another brand I would highly recommend you have on your radar. 
Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, first of all, thank you, but you might have spotted some new items I very kindly received from free people recently. This pretty white summer dress, my beach day ready linen fisherman pants, which I love, and this slouchy summer jumper that I've been wearing almost every evening this week. I tend to pop that one over my gym kit once I've worked out and then I end up in it for the whole night. But for this summer lookbook, I decided on this mini dress with the most interesting detail across the waistband. I thought this was a really pretty and very subtle way to tick that cutout fashion trend box this season and beyond actually. I doubt this dress is going to date either. Made from mainly cotton with just a sprinkle of linen, the fabric feels lightweight and really gentle against my skin. I love the tiered silhouette, the fact that you could easily wear a bra if you wished, those wide, almost square sleeves, and of course that cross detail across the front. Now shade-wise, the world is your oyster with this one. You have no less than 15 different tones to choose from. I think my favorites are the Pelican, the Tropical Nut, White, Black, and of course the shade Ocean Pearl, which I went for, which just feels really natural. There's something about free people that just really draws me in, particularly in summertime. It's a little bit bohemian, very original, and the majority of items stay within that high street price point. Their dresses are just so pretty and feminine, it's actually hard to choose between them. And they have so many items in their range, I could literally lose quite a few hours just having a browse. And while I'm probably not the target market for quite a lot of their pieces, I always find far too many that I know would really work for me too. Next in the summer haul to something I haven't actually bought yet, but I discovered these the other day while looking for a pair of shorts for another subscriber. And I love them so much, I might actually have to buy them for myself. Now she wanted a new pair of shorts that were a little bit longer, and I advised a Bermuda length were particularly on trend right now. So I had a little Google and I came across this pair from Ralph Lauren. I just thought these are a really elegant and timeless option. Perhaps for those who are equally not keen on short shorts for summer. I love the tailoring on these, and I think that belt hook detail makes them look even more polished and refined. They're just a really sophisticated alternative. Thank you so much for watching my summer haul with all of my recent favorites and how I would style them together. If you enjoyed this lookbook, I would always be very grateful for a thumbs up and do let me know your favorite item that I bought in the comment section below. Plus, do I keep or return that long blue dress? It's always fun to hear what you all think, so do let me know. Don't forget to take a look at the new summer collection at Warehouse. I have linked them in the description box below, along with all the other links to everything I've been wearing in today's video. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and I hope to see you back here for another styling video on Sunday. Take care.